this is Pala Katrastos, technical marketing engineer from Network Security, Security Business Unit. And as part of this talk, I'm going to speak about firepower migrations, firepower migration options and to the new product line. There is a huge opportunity out there, which I think um, we should definitely try to leverage and catch uh, if possible. There are different ways to migrate existing customers to the new product line. One of the option which might have or you are facing with is that the customer is still running on the traditional ASC hardware and their hardware platform is due to refresh so we can offer them the new firepower platforms to refresh their hardware hardware and still keep them on the ASA itself or alternatively you can uh, position them already the firepower threat defense as as a new software on top of the platform as well, which is the more complex migration option, in my opinion. And I think we need to be really careful when we position migrating customer, existing customers, existing ASA customers onto Firepower because there are still feature gaps between ASA and FTD. And we need to make sure that there is enough due diligence being done um, in order to assess what are those features and which the customer is using and what are the gaps uh, which are there between their current existing ASA and the new Firepower Threat Defense software. So probably for these customers uh, who has a big amount of these gaps still there and for example, remote access VPN related stuff, for these customers, we definitely um, suggest maybe moving and positioning the Firepower platform as a hardware replacement on the first step. And maybe in a later stage when uh, we are more ready with, uh, with these feature gaps, then we can position them actually changing to the newer software. Additional, alternatively, um, if the customer is ready to take on board the new next generation firewall software, Firepower Threat Defense, then we can stay straight position um, on top of just the hardware, the, the Firepower Threat Defense itself as well. This is just a table which tries to show you the options and the complexity when you are migrating from ASA to ASA. It means that from the old hardware to the new hardware, keeping the ASA there, the level of migration is fairly easy. Keep in mind that uh, on the new hardware, because of FXOS, there are still some uh, features which has not been ported, uh, such as the mail link for a for a VPC bundle. Um, but uh, so when you when you design and and consider moving from uh, the old platform to the new platform, just uh, make sure that you do enough due diligence. Um, in regards to assessing what are those features which might not be there because of the FXOS related limitations. Currently the FTD to ASA migration is not supported. The other option from ASA to FTD is a bit more complex situation. And in this case, we are uh, providing you the migration tool, which is uh, available and free to use in every ASA to FTD migration. Um, here are the matching uh, from the, for, for the traditional ASA platform to the new Firepower series of platforms. So you can see and uh, go through in this uh, reference table, um, checking what the traditional hardware which the, the customer is currently running at and what would be the potential alternative option for that hardware platform, which uh, you want them to migrate on to. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is the Firepower migration tool which is available and free for use for to help you uh, basically migrating from ASA onto FTD. Plus, you will see that we are uh, also coming up with new features to help and ease the migration from competition as well. The Firepower migration tool um, has three major features, uh, reporting, automation and scale. And um, basically, the reporting helps you to provide the pre and post migration reports where you can see what are the things which are going to be migrated 
and after the migration you can understand what has been successfully migrated or what would have been skipped because of certain things are not supported yet, etc. In regards to automation, it's leveraging the API of the Firepower Management Center. So it basically um, fully automated and it is even able to automatically mapping the, the interfaces and security zones. And from the scale aspect, it has been tested in a lot of different variations uh, in, in live customer configurations um, with uh, lots of objects. So we try to make sure and put our due diligence here that it supports complex customer situations. The quick overview on how the actual procedure looks like. So you take the firewall configuration, um, it could be an ASA config in this case, for example, you upload it to the Firepower migration tool, which could be running on a on your client desktop, or it is actually also part of CDO in a beta phase yet, but it's available. And then uh, once this Firepower mi migration tool uh, started to process your configuration, um, in in this case, when it runs on the desktop and migrating to an FMC-based deployment, um, it starts to calling the FMC API to deploy those and create all the necessary objects inside of the configuration. And then once those have been created, um, it's going to deploy it on the platform. In an alternative scenario, which I mentioned already, with regards to the CTO, uh, it looks like on a way that uh, you upload the migration configuration to be migrated onto CTO. On CTO, you need to create a template. And then after the configuration has been migrated onto this virtual uh, template device, then you basically could able to apply this configuration on the actual uh, platform, which has been onboarded on CTO tool options you can see as i mentioned already you can run it either on your desktop computer as a client or you could run it in cto there is no internet connectivity required if you choose to run it on the client from the licensing aspect uh, both of that are actually free or included in cto from the authentication point of view um, you could use local authentication or cco id and uh, the minimum Firepower version, meaning that it's actually supported. It's, uh, you can see it on the screen for the client. That's basically um, the, the migration setup there or scenario is when you migrate to a FMC based deployment. And uh, in the CDO setup, basically, that's where you migrate from ASA to a FTM based FTD deployment which where the devices are also onboarded in CTO. Um, you can see also other details in regards to ASA version, the target of the migration and some reporting stuff. The migration tool features, um, you can see here a, a small compact version of a roadmap in regards to the migration tool. Um, you can see that um, we have already came out with quite a lot of uh, options which are uh, easing the, the migration from traditional ASA devices onto um, FTD. And since we got, um, I think, on a pretty good execution with that part of the roadmap, we started to also focus on um, competitive migration, such as uh, migrating from Checkpoint. And later on, we'll also come out with migration from PAM devices as well as long as we are progressing to the on, on, on this roadmap. The Firepower migration tool 2.0 in a nutshell, it's unlocking the ASA 5505 and ASA SM module migrations. It unlocks the migration from Checkpoint to FTD, as well as unlocks the migration in CDO from ASA to FTD. It's also supporting Firepower v6.5 and certain enhancements have been done, such as destination zone mapping for an ACL or a user-defined security zone and interface group. When it comes to migrating a new ASA to Firepower, as I have mentioned already, um, there was a table which has a pretty good matching on what are the 
traditional models and what are the new ones. Basically, the 5505 we recommend to, uh, to basically migrate onto the Firepower 1010, and it requires Firepower Threat Defense 605 as a target. When it comes to any other Firepower um, AS, running AS service module, you could potentially choose any other options from the Firepower portfolio, any supported FTD uh, starting from version 6.2.3 or later as a target. And some of the best practices for running the migration tool, you download and run the latest migration tool. It's recommended because we constantly try to fix bugs, issues with the migration tool itself, as well as um, we try to make it and keep it aligned with the current and latest Firepower uh, software versions. Please review the FMT pre-migration checklist, which is pretty important in order to achieve a successful migration. Please create a separate user account on FMC when you are using the Firepower migration tool with admin access, so you will not disrupt or, or not disturb any other ongoing activities. Try to map interfaces and follow the on-screen steps in order to validate the config, which is also really important because in um, Firepower Threat Defense is really important what are those destination interfaces will look like and in which security zones they will be in. Uh, review the post-migration report, which provides a really useful insight about what has been successfully migrated. And once you are satisfied with all those uh, outputs, you can basically deploy the policies on the FMC. There is no separate demo, but in the folder where you can actually, where you have been accessed this, uh, recording, you will be able to find a separate demo video which actually represents you how to use the Firepower uh, migration tool and um, how to achieve a successful migration with it. So this is it in a nutshell. Uh, please remember the most important points. Uh, one of that, try to catch all the opportunities out there which could be migrating our uh, old hardware install base into, a new, into the new Firepower platforms. Please remember to leverage the free Firepower migration help us service. Remember that you have also a migration tool, which is free, free to use, and it helps you to ease the migration complexity. Thank you very much for listening to this recording. Bye.